We are continuing to celebrate June weddings, and here to DIY flower girl baskets for the big day is my personal favorite Aww. celebrity <laughs> florist, Amy Morella. Thank Welcome, you. Amy. Thank you. Thank you. I love being here. Um, yeah, let's talk flower girls. They are kind of the star of the show after the bride. They really after are. The bride. Yeah, they're, but everyone, sometimes they're right there. I know, I everyone's know. super excited, so we need to do something really fun for them. And they, I mean, this is a job to them, being sure. a flower girl. They're That's like prepared, they want to think about it, they want to like practice, yeah. you know, so we want to need to make them really special. I remember I was a flower girl a few times when I was little, and I took such pride in it. And I, still, yeah. my mom still has a framed photo of me as a flower girl in the house from when I was five. I mean, I remember it being so important. And I would just like to say that Alexandra's debut as a flower girl for the very first time is going to be this summer for her Aww, godmother's wedding. Oh, thank you. So You're going to cry. Of course. Forget I'm gonna, the bride. You're going to cry, yes. I'm already right. starting to cry. And you know, um, who was also a really lovely flower girl, and we do have a photo of her, oh. is Paige. She was the cutest little flower girl you would have oh, ever look seen. At look at her. that. Oh, Paige. Flashback. I wonder what Lawrence would say about that fashion. I think he'd think it was fabulous. You can bring it back. Of the moment, of the moment. And then, right here in our backyard, we had her wedding a few years ago, and her yes. flower girls were adorable. Do you remember so that? I you do. Made flower them. girls so for You made all I did of them. Yeah, yep. I remember the kissing balls, and, and oh just another great goodness. way of doing something for a flower girl, by the way. So cute. Yeah. I know Ken. Yeah. My, uh, my, all three of my kids um, were in a wedding, my cousin's wedding, and the funny thing is, is that I, Margo was supposed to be flower girl, she wanted to be ring bear, she wanted the pillow, and my son wanted to carry she the flower the ball. So she we did a whole, like, diamond. reversal, <laughs> see, she's got the Aww. pillow, and he's got the flower ball hanging, Aww. they were so, and Coco thought she was a princess. It was like the best day ever. Coco is a princess. They love it. Cute. They That's love true. it. So I'm very curious about how you do. Did you got started earlier, correct? Yes, we got started earlier, and um, I want to show you guys what we got to do. Let's All right. Look. So I start off with a plain basket. Um, needed to get a lot of ribbon, because we want to French knot the handle of the basket to make okay. it a little bit extra special. So we start off at the bottom, and we we keep twisting around, get go wrap around the handle, Tie a knot. Just like that. Just like okay. that. I'm twisting it one more time. And as I twist it, I go back under. Oh, you don't actually oh. tie it as a knot. It's just twist yeah, it back Yeah, it's a twist. Down. Sorry, not it's a knot. Got it. Yes. A fold over in a twist. That's and then a I just knot. watch. I twist it. I see. And then I fold it back over oh, again. Oh, okay. And it's it going to take like a, a little time. You have to take some time to do this because you want to get it right every time. And you have to keep threading the ribbon around. So the ribbon goes back down on the back same side course, it came yeah. up from. Got exactly. it. Exactly. So, and when I want to finish it off, I tie it in a knot at the okay. bottom. Um, so now I have a really clean finish on both ends of my basket because we don't want to have any um, mechanic showing. Right. I, you know, we're always big about no showing the mechanics there. And then I'm going to just clip the ends of it really, really tight to the knot, and I've got the basket. Oh. Now I'm going to make two little flower bouquets. So I took some hydrangea, took some roses, um, started gathering them together into a little mini nosegay in my hand, added a little bit of baby's breath took some green stretchy floral tape, twisted that around the bouquet, so I'm making one single mini bouquet that and stands alone. And you use tape, tape, that's tape, your recommended way of holding together. Stretchy okay. floral tape. Got it. Then I took some binding wire that has a little bit of wiring in it and a covering, and I twisted that around the basket handle there so my bouquet is stuck to the handle. I'm Got not it. gluing it, I'm tying it. Because remember, kids are using this. No, yeah. I didn't realize that you and then tied the bow little... separately. I thought the bow I was all was part of no, the ribbon. No, bow is the final step. Um, just make a you know cute little bow, really simple, nothing oh crazy. Did it on both sides of the handle, and That's there you go. So yeah. So here's so our finished, adorable. same finished product there. So what if you weren't watching closely enough, and you don't know how to do a French knot? What would you recommend? Easiest thing to do would just be to take the ribbon and just twist it all the way around the handle, clean, all right. nothing but crazy. That really is. That's really yeah, like a nice, nice lovely. It turns gives like a really it. fun detail touch. Yeah. So now I would say like gorgeous, done. Let's move on and start wet, right? icing the wedding cake. Perfect. Day. Never too many flowers. <laughs> Come on, You're talking to a girl. celebrity. She's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. No. So we want to just finish this off. We want to add a few more flowers all around the edge of this. So that so we have a that? really adorable Yeah, what's basket. our process okay. on that? So we first thing we need to start with is the glue. Okay. I'm foregoing the glue gun, believe it or not. <gasps> Why? No. Well, hold back. So we are going to use these what are called glue pillows. Why glue pillows? They are a little bit stronger. So we actually uh, melted oh. the glue pillows already. And so this little 
if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Okay, this is just it's a like pot liquid. of glue. It's a pot of glue. Now, yeah. you have to use this, or can you, like, microwave these? Do not microwave it. One, I don't know if it'll explode in the microwave. Okay. Two, it has a really strong smell, and I don't think it's great for the food after. Okay, I have <laughs> never yeah. actually, like, so seen I've used actually, one of these. a couple different ways. This is the little mini crock pot. tastes a little bit longer. You could also even do the, a the small fry wax. pan. Yeah, or you the, could do uh, the paraffin. I don't know if it'll glue, melt fast enough, okay. but a, a small fry pan, electric fry pan, glue. And what's we so good about the this? Shop. It's stronger. It can hold just about anything. So the best thing is the the kids are holding these. They're knocking them. They're you know. So, so you really want to you want it to, be to last. Down. Is and it the, stronger than regular? It's stronger than right. the floral. Orly gun. Paige, we have something we need to buy. I know immediately. Buy boxes. Blue pillows. Of this. We have boxes of this at the shop. So try. So how does how does okay. it work? What do we do? So what we're gonna do is um, you want to just make sure our glue's nice and liquid, right? Which okay. is so we're in good shape. Um, we're gonna take all these little roses and we're just gonna trim the heads of them right off. And we wanna go really flat. See how flat I got against right. that? Because right. I need to stick this against here. So you go okay. ahead and you just okay, dip but them in. They are? Yep. Aren't you, um, start, start. I feel like you're damaging the flower by pressing oh, all oh, the feathers, oh, uh, I mean all the um, petals together. It's okay. Right nope. And then we're gonna stick it right, right on. Hand them to you. That yeah. doesn't damage the it flower? It doesn't. And see how quickly it I sticks? would have never thought of yeah. gluing flowers. So we're not damaging the flowers Honestly, we're using flowers that are really good um, for the baskets. We're not doing any soft um, stems. So, what flowers. flowers would be the best? So, would you say? roses are great. The hydrangea is good. We're going to use that next. The um, baby's breath is good. Things that are a little bit hardier Sturdy. out of water. Okay. And you know, soft stem flowers like a ranunculus or a tulip or something like that doesn't really hold that well. Okay. So, we're just going to keep adding a little bit of flowers oh around goodness. the edge. I am and we're obsessed with this thing space. now. Yeah, we're leaving a little bit of space because I want to tuck in a few other flowers. Okay. You know, we could do just roses all around. So now we're going to do is we're going to take some of the hydrangea. So a big hydrangea stem. See how many Can legs are on the end of this? this? Yeah. About the glue dripping? Oh, yeah. I know it's stronger glue, so is it going to be, is it um, no, going to come add off more the flowers. same way that... Yeah, look at it. It comes right off my hand. It's okay, unlike so the glue fine. gun where it so burns it, your fingers. But it'll come off yeah. easy. It like comes glue off really like exactly. Exactly. Okay. okay. So then the next thing we're going to do is take all of this hydrangea, how we always say it has, it's leggy, leggy right. hydrangea. So you actually want the little leggy part. And again, I've got another leg and another leg. And I've oh, got lots it. of legs oh, of the right. hydrangea. So then we're going to do, and now we're just going to get, I'm going to do this one. You go right I know you're excited. You go, I know, I'm so excited but about this thing. I'm just, I'm just doing a little tiny on the end there. And then I want to just attach it. And this is so push beautiful. it down on there, right? Look at the nice messy glue job yeah. I did. That's Amy, okay. I, need, I, need, I, need, I need glue pot It comes tutoring. right off of there. Look at right. that. That's so easy. easy. And then the same thing with the um, baby's breath. Take that. Could you do just this with it. silk flowers as well, or would you just? Oh, that, if you did it with silk flowers, this would last forever. For, well, this yeah. would too if you shellacked it, wouldn't? Couldn't it? <laughs> I mean, wouldn't I you shellack know. it after? I guess you it? could, and then we're just going to keep adding more. And then, as, and then if you get like, whoops, sorry, I missed that one. Have you ever tried to do it with silk flowers? I haven't, but I'm a fresh it, flower. Right. She, yeah, she's like, please, please. So, yeah. you Well, mix? speaking you of could. fresh, though, the challenge is making these too far ahead. Like, how far ahead can you make them? Okay, so this one you could actually make the day before okay. if you wanted. Okay. So as you let it grow, and then you just kind of keep adding it around. Yeah. And then Beautiful. this was our finished product. And look at the little, the purse. Fun. I mean, yeah. that's so absolutely cute. amazing. So going back to what you said, if, right. you know, how long ahead could we, or how far ahead could we right. do this? So if you made this the night before, which is really the best option, because no one wants to be making the, the flower girl baskets right. the morning of their wedding. Um, what we do is we actually take cellophane and we it open it up, put it inside, spritz it with a little bit of water. Nice. And then once it's done being spritzed, you just take this, Put it in the fridge. Put it in and the fridge, yeah. Staple it, put it in the fridge overnight, and it'll keep the moisture will lock in there. The glue Precious will not be damaged. In the, in the morning, it's ready to go. That is beautiful. That's Absolutely beautiful. amazing. Perfect. You're gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you so much. Absolutely gorgeous. Good. I'm glad you guys like it. I'm going to want um, you to make the Easter, I mean, not the Easter basket, the flower, flower basket, basket. Yep. for Alexandra. Done and done. And I'm going to be taking this with me. Okay. <laughs>